G'day. One of the most iconic sights here in Launceston, Tasmania, is the Cataract Gorge. And when you've had a lot of rain, like we have recently, it gets flooded. It looks pretty cool. Let's go check it out. When there's a lot of rain up in the mountains, the waters of the South Esk River come rushing down this valley and spill into the Tamer River. The construction of these cataract cliff grounds began in January 1890. The Toll House was built in 1891 to raise funds for further development of the area. It was pulled down when tolls to enter the gorge were removed. This is a replica of the original. The caretaker's cottage was built in 1890, designed by Alexander North. Over time, it fell into disrepair, but was restored to its original design in 1981. Today, the cottage is managed by the Queen Victoria Museum and used for an artist in residence program. The driver of the river cruise boat must have turned off the engines to demonstrate the power of the rushing waters. Pretty cool. Kings Bridge, originally named South Esk Bridge, was completed in 1864 as a single span structure. It was widened with a duplicate span in 1904 and renamed in honour of King Edward VII. So this area where we are now is kind of significant. It's called Picnic Rock. People used to come here in boats to have picnics long before the cliff walk and grounds were developed. This hut was built in 1926 to replace the old bark hut. It was named the Duchess Hut a year later when the Duke and Duchess of York came for a visit. So it's not so much the rain here in Launceston that makes the difference. It's the rain out in the country further up the river. The more rain you have there, the more the river fills up and all that water comes rushing down the gorge. It would have been even more impressive a couple of days ago. You can tell just by looking at the water level on the rocks. to go up these steps 
to a lookout on top of that rock. I guess it was deemed a safety hazard. There's meant to be a concrete walkway here from one side to the other, but it's completely underwater. And believe it or not, there's a swimming pool right here, but again, it's completely submerged under all the water. In the 1890s, there were some really cool structures along the cliff walk. The most famous was the Crusoe Hut. It stood on this spot until its removal in 1943. If you want to work out, go on the Maple Steps from here all the way up to the Trevallon Car Park. We used to always get access to this location from there when we. The Alexander Suspension Bridge is of course one of the main attractions of the Cataract Gorge. It was built in 1904, allowing people to walk from the cliff grounds to the first basin. But it was washed away in the 1929 floods. So it was rebuilt in 1931, with some more works done in 2003. So this here is roughly where the swimming pool is. There's a playground up here. There have been times when this entire playground has been submerged underwater. So nowhere near as impressive at the moment, but still cool. You can see here from all the wood that's been washed up just how high the water was recently. But that's the situation now. It's not actually that flooded. It's it's only just covering the pool. You can actually see the steps of the swimming pool right there. Those is not the entrance stairs to the pool. To the steps. I should please walk. Uh, Telstra. Yeah, so I don't know how many steps it goes down, but this is the step seating, and you'd be sitting here looking out on the swimming pool. Oh, look, ducks! Does it, what is the, the ducks are in the swimming pool. up on the top. The amazing view there. So a few weeks after we recorded this vlog we went up to Melbourne. While we were there there was this big scare about flooding. But while we were there back here in Tasmania there actually was quite a bit of flooding in Launceston and the surrounding area. Now we've been back for about a week now. This is the first chance I've had to actually get out here. So you can see by the colour of the water in the swimming pool that the, the water in the basin has actually been over the top of all of this. In fact you can see all the rocks there that it's swept in. And there's bits of, little bits of wood and gravel kind of scattered in the grass. Next time, the Colling Show heads to Melbourne.